Well, six members of the San Diego City Council are calling on Mayor Todd Gloria to create an Office of Child and Youth Success. Council Member Ralph Campillo joins us now on why this issue is so important for families and children in San Diego. Good morning, Councilman. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. It's, it's so great to see uh, Foodies for Foster Kids uh, right before we talk about this segment because we're going to be talking about what the city of San Diego needs to do to really help families and children in particular with the Office of Child and Youth Success. Absolutely. And this is something where six of you agreed on this, but uh, in, in an unusual turn of events, at least I thought, uh, the mayor didn't put this in his budget. So where, where does this go from here? Are you still pushing for this? Is there a possibility that this can, this can be added? Absolutely. It absolutely can. At this point, we still have about a month left to go in the budget process. And see, the, the first thing about Mayor Gloria's budget is there's so many things that actually are trying to benefit children. Uh, the Summer for All of Us uh, initiative that we spoke about yesterday in Linda Vista by the skate park that I represent. Uh, and, but this Office of Child and Youth Success is a particular missing point in coordinating all the different programs that the city of San Diego has that are meant to benefit children, particularly as we're coming out of the pandemic, when we know that children's mental health has really suffered a lot from not being able to get into school. And job opportunities are really difficult because over the last year, they haven't had the internships or the uh, part-time jobs that they normally would in high school to help them uh, boost up their resume or even earn money to support their parents as all families are really struggling right now. And so what we really need is a policymaker and a dedicated office in the mayor's office at City Hall that will advise on how to coordinate all the different programs we have, as well as partner with the San Diego Unified School District, the San Diego Community College District, and really be a center point for families to go when they think, oh, I really want opportunities for my children, whether it's educational, uh, physical education, whether it's job employment, uh, job skills, internships, and that's something we're missing. Now, the mayor didn't put it in his original uh, draft of the budget, the May revision is going to be coming uh, on the 18th, and I'm really hoping that Mayor Gloria has heard from the city council members as we spoke during the last several weeks during budget review hearings that we really need that coordinating point that will make it so that children have a really good chance of success in San Diego, and in particular, families have a, a way to get services and programs for their children as we're all coming out of the pandemic. Now, this $350,000 that would be allocated for this new youth office that was left out of the budget, where would that money strictly go to salaries for creating that new office? Where, how is that money allocated to, to create this? So there would be two employees who are dedicated to that, an, ex an executive director of that office and a program manager, but there'd also be a paid youth internship part of that. And then there would be the de designation of or the creation of the plan to help coordinate all these services. However, part of that is going to be part of the role of the program manager is going to be as a grant writer to state and federal funds to foundations that support children and youth centered programs. So this investment will actually pay itself off in the long run, probably even in the short run. So it's really a drop in the bucket that is an investment we need in our children right now. It will be a couple of employees, but it's really about getting access to more funding that we don't currently have right now in our city in our, uh, our city management. And as you visualize it, this office would be sort of a center point for the, the San Diego Unified School District, the Community College District, Parks and Rec. I mean, you see this as sort of the central hub for a lot of these organizations that touch our youth. That's right. So, you know, for example, the city of San Diego, we have uh, arrangements with this uh, Unified School District for uh, shared fields, right? So we don't have all the parks we want in the city of San Diego, and we have agreements to open up the park space, uh, which is usually the recreation area at a middle school or elementary school. So we have relationships <laughs> like this, but what we don't have is uh, a coordinated effort to say, what are the what are the internship opportunities at the city and how are we communicating those to teenagers in middle school and high school, or even uh, young adults who are in community college, uh, and on top of that, there's also issues of services for, related to food instability and homelessness, because we do have a significant number of homeless youth and, uh, and, and, and hungry youth in our city. And so without that coordinating point, there's really no central place for anyone to go find those services, uh, it, particularly when it comes to childcare. Well, let's really talk about childcare for a second. This is going to also serve as a 
central node for where people can rely on getting a good list of quality, accessible, affordable childcare. Because one thing that I heard throughout the campaign and then in my first uh, five, six months in office is how many people are struggling to find a quality and affordable childcare. And this office would be dedicated towards that too. Uh, really quickly, we're, we're running out of time here, but uh, the, the mayor's opposition really is, he has said he wants to save a, a significant portion, over a, $100 million of the federal aid money that has really helped us uh, with our deficit. Uh, and so he, he, he's being conservative fiscally to save that for future years because uh, we know in California we're notorious for, for spending uh, when we have it and then not having it. Uh, so what, what's your argument to, to being able to save some of that money and going ahead and spending this money for, for creating this office? I think Mayor Gloria is absolutely right. We need to be wise and save some of the federal dollars that we have for future days because we know the economy is not going to be coming back quickly as, as quickly as we need it to, at least not back to 2019 numbers. Projections are out to 2023 for when we actually get back to that point. So I think Mayor Gloria is right to want to be conservative in that aspect. But this $350,000 is really just seed money that we're going to get back in grant writing and in providing economic de development really for families. It's actually going to produce more money in the long run for our economy, it's short term and long term. This is a smart investment, and I don't think it's really uh, it's really going to be taking away from saving that hundred or so million dollars that we want to use for next year's budget. All right, Raul Campillo, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too.